I am wearing Spanx. I am happy to show you the Spanx that I'm wearing. I love them. I think the name Bodycon is Body Contour. I feel like the term Bodycon probably comes from body conscious. Truthfully, I actually didn't know what Bodycon meant until like a week ago when I decided to actually Google it and look it up. To me, Bodycon means form fitting and not being able to hide behind your clothes. It's just all out there. Bodycon has been a four letter word to me. It just is terrifying because it just sticks to every bump and curve. What do I think of? Maybe like the Kardashians? I feel like they're like really into the bodycon look. I own one bodycon dress currently. It is what I call my sexy dress. I would say I exclusively wear bodycon dresses. I wore my first one actually two months ago. I walked into the room and people were shocked, but in a good way. I absolutely love bodycon. I think when you wear loose clothes, it makes you look bigger. I think of trying not to look like a busted can of biscuits, because usually thick girls in these type of dresses, you get real tight and it's like, oh my goodness, I don't want to be sideways and then look nine months. They usually don't fit. I'm smaller than the sizes that they have. I'm actually not a zero, I'm smaller than a zero. It's always loose. The top half of my body is like so much smaller than the bottom half. There'll just be some excess at the top, like especially around my arms specifically in this dress. I think maybe when they design them, they think women generally have like a very simple shape or like an hourglass or Whereas for me, I'm way wider in my hips than I am on up top. It'll fit really well here, and then by the time it gets to my hips, I have to like really wiggle into it. The only issue I would have with the fit of bodycon dresses is just my height sometimes, or like my size fluctuates in like different brands. I can be like a 22 or a 3X, and then another brand I can slip into an extra large depending on the stretch. While wearing the hijab, it's kind of like when you wear a bodycon dress, you just kind of need to be careful when it comes to it being too tight. And it does represent modesty. Wearing a size up makes me feel more comfortable. It really just depends on how you style it, honestly. It definitely wears out because sometimes the seams come undone. Every now and then around the hip area, I'll see like a seam pulling where it wouldn't pull up at the top because I'm just like wider here. Well, you'll maybe last like maybe two or three washes and then after a while, you know, you'll get the tear on the side. So the cheaper it is the bodycon dress is typically the thinner the material is. With my hips being so wide, it's almost see-through at that point. So I tend to go for higher quality bodycon dresses. I think it just depends like how you take care of it. Like you can get a cheap one and make it last. I think hand washing would be better. I just wear my normal underwear. That's probably not the best idea, but I'm not a huge fan of thongs. So whatever I got, I go with. Definitely a thong or a G-string, something that you can't see. Seamless is pretty popular for the bodycon. Oh, <laughs> seamless. No lines, you don't want any lines. I like a high-waisted, because I like to have that support in this area. I know my stomach's not gonna magically disappear, but at least I like to look smooth and like polished. None, you don't wear underwear with body hat. You don't wear drawers. <laughs> I don't care if it's a thong, it's gonna dig in somewhere and there's gonna it's gonna make like a roll where there's not a roll, or it's gonna bunch up in a really uncomfortable way. Sphinx, 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 Sphinx. No thongs, no boy shorts. Spanks only. Two thumbs and two toes. Four spanks. Pro spanks. I didn't even know what spanks were until today. When you wear tight fitting dresses, you can get really hot and irritated down there. So I wear them more as like a liner of protection as opposed to like shaping my silhouette. They definitely are uncomfortable. It's probably like the biggest hassle when you have to use the bathroom outside and you gotta like get it all back in place when you're done. But when you're wearing bodycon, I think it's definitely a must to have a Spanx on. I'm not wearing any Spanx right now because I'm having a good day, but I definitely brought my couple pairs with me today just in case. To be honest, I'm not like my most confident self in a skin tight dress, only because you know the stares and the gawks you're gonna get. I don't like the fact that I feel self-conscious in tight clothing. I wish I, I wish I felt more comfortable with it. And in fact, it's like a big part of the reason why I'm doing this now. If it's not me, in a bonnet con, I'm like, yes, queen, like, work it. Normally, the fashion industry likes to hide away plus size women, they like to dress us to hide our curves, hide our bellies. And honestly, this feels like a big f you <laughs> to the fashion industry, which is empowering in a way, but I'm still like, affected by 
you know, the way that the fashion industry has dressed us over the years. So I'm just working through it. There's a lot of emotions. There's like, I want to say F you, but I'm like, I'm exposed. I think it's called V. BL visible belly line. At first was very hung up on that when I started wearing bodycon, but then I enjoyed the freedom and I got over it. I was so nervous about wearing a bodycon dress because I just didn't know what was gonna show and what wasn't gonna show, but this is comfortable. I'm pretty fine with wearing a bodycon dress because I'm very proud of what I'm working with. Look in the mirror and say, you rocking this today, girl. If you gotta wear Spanx, wear them. My favorite thing is stepping out of the box, so I encourage everybody to try bodycon. Oh, I feel sexy. I feel sexy because I feel like my body is being kind of enhanced in the way. It's being complemented by my curves being shown. Sure, my stomach's showing and everything, but that's just part of my body. And it's my body, so why would I not love it?